So, I haven't spoken to you this week. A little bit down lately. Um, yeah, thinking about my future and stuff because I decided to jack the shop in. Officially quit. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while. Uh, but I've decided to do it because it's just not good for me anymore. It's just too draining to do and it's too doing too much damage to me. Yeah, the constant interaction with people is just... It just drains you in a way that you can't really explain to normal people. Afterwards, you just feel like a zombie. Um, yeah, I'm slightly panicking about that because I don't really know what I'm going to do with my life. Um, that, that job was the one thing keeping me sane. You know, I felt like I was earning my benefits rather than just having them. And now I'm just going to be going back to sitting on my ass doing nothing all day. Like I used to. Um, yeah, so I'm not dealing with that too well. Don't know whether this is the right decision, but I'm pretty sure it is. I just really wish I had something to look forward to in life. Or some kind of passion that I can exploit for money. <laughs> um, slight win today. Uh, I recently lost this. My bank card. Uh, making sure to show you not to show your numbers. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, misplaced this. <laughs> and finally found it down the, the side of the seat cushion. Which is not something not where I was expecting it to be, but it was where Mum said it would be, so shouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, uh, I lost that because I'm doing my room about, and I just completely forgot to put it back where I where it should be in my wallet. <laughs> uh, we were at, we were up at the town centre, and I just looked at my wallet, and I was like, oh my god, my bank card's missing. Luckily, I knew I lost it here rather than having someone pinch it or whatever, so I wasn't too panicked. But I went to have an Iceland ordered now and I got to the checkout and was like they need your bank card I'm like oh for fuck's sake tried to see if I can get it on the on the wallet app I was like no they, they didn't give you the details tried to go into like, TSB mobile banking they're down because of course they fucking are they're doing maintenance I'm like it's the most important app on your phone and it's down sometimes so you have to go that, that, that gave me the motivation to actually try and find it <sighs> So yeah, I'm not going to starve to death because now I've found this thing. If without this thing, I starve to death. Or, you know, I just have to go into a shop and talk to someone and actually buy food the old-fashioned way. But I much prefer ice and deliveries. Because you can, like, really stock up. You can add multiple to one thing. <laughs> but yeah. I'm slowly going insane because... I'm thinking about my future and I don't like what I see. Which is which happens a lot in my life. So it is Thursday, um I think. One second. Yes, it is indeed Thursday. Um I'm all over the place. Hello, Barry from the future here. Um I know it's a bit boring when I have to come in and correct things, but uh I have to re-record uh, this bit because uh, I went into a bit too much detail about money in this uh, in this vlog, uh, so I tried to cut that bit. Basically, I was explaining what happened with the phone call on Thursday. It was a phone call from Universal Credit. Uh, basically, they were just asking me about some transactions on my account and why they were there and that kind of stuff. And I expect they're all they're all per per perfectly innocent. And uh, but I went into a bit <laughs> too much detail about where they about why each transaction was the way it was so and it's a bit not really my business it's, it's about mom and dad financial stuff so so anyway yeah they just wanted to know about some transactions back to the regularly reg, reg, regularly scheduled program i'm about to i'm about to slip up on another word now so my my tongue just doesn't work anyway so yeah that's that's that over it's it's a nice relief to know what that's what that was about and now that it's done you know, so we've still got some of the rigid, rigid, rigid residual, rid, fucking hell, it's a hard word, Rids, residual, 
residual, I think that's the word, the residual stress in my head. Um, so I've been, I've been taking it easy today, started another new Minecraft world, which is about, I think the 70th one I've done this year. That's not real, but it's, it's a high number. I, I almost, I'm always restart, restarting the fucking game because I've had, I, I have new ideas that I want to try out. But it's looking, it's, it's, it's really holding my psyche up. It's, it's, it's keeping me sane, Minecraft is at the moment, because I've got a lot to be depressed about at the moment. I've, I've getting, I'm quitting my job, so I've got nothing else to look forward to. So I need to, I'm grasping onto hot Minecraft with two hands. Um, but yeah, I think I've got much else to say. Need to go to bed now because it's ridiculous. So it is Friday. Just had an ice and shop. Not, not much, but uh, it is something. They forgot an item. Tragedy. I only have one Kingsley Cola. My newfound obsession. I got two of these last time and they were actually really good. So I thought I'd get two of these again. They only, they only delivered one. Don't know how I'm going to survive. I now have to go and find how to refund an 80 pence item. <laughs> Because then literally just, that, that bottle is literally 80 pence. That's the only reason why I buy it. It's because it's so cheap. And I need some taste in my life. Because usually I'm on water most of the time. God, I look awful. <sighs> but yeah. Anyway, I'll get all this food put away. And then, and then I'll sue Iceland. Because I am emotionally distraught. This gives me Minecraft vibes, Sonny you? Very very vocal. Using. Just give me. So when I watch your game on your vlogs, imagine your little campfire that you can make go out here. An old mine quarry is but. Minecraft in real life. Be careful, Lily. There'll be drops. Filming whilst over in the farm and I pulled and tear you. It's quite interesting. So I think I'll wrap up. But it did remind me of your Minecraft game for some reason. We're in the right bit for because I haven't got my glasses. Oh my god, I can't see jack shit. There's from there. It's embarrassing. I can't even see where this is filming, whether my seconds are rolling, I'm just going to have to hope so. You can hear my old man sounds. I think I've got my camera set on dimmer settings and the sun's bright. But it's absolutely beautiful up here today. I don't know all that far from the van, I've got such beautiful views. Not what you usually find on the top of a hill. Looks like there's another one of those footboardy things. Yeah. Some good pants with it. Some bars with it. Halfway you can walk around it. How long it'll take this tarmac? It'll be 
covered in grass. No, there's another one here. Looks to be three of the woody things. I can't remember how many was this kid. And one left. And a Trixie. Wait. Sit. Sit. Like to sit. My shadow is ruining that. So, it's later in the day now. I'm cold, so wearing a blanket. Um, it turns out to get a refund on that fucking 80 pence bottle, uh, I have to make a phone call. So fuck that. Um, I get a lot of anxiety from phone calls, so I'm not doing that. I did check the order, it was just one thing they got with, they got, they forgot, so I'll just, uh, that'll be fine. I do have a spare one. So, that'll keep me going. Um, I'm tired, my brain doesn't work. I watched Sweet Bee today, that was something I was looking forward to, and that was, that was actually really good, that was. I was I, I was scared it was going to be like all weird and arty, um, but it's actually really good, really simple to follow through. Um, it's kind of like a Joker film, the Joker film. But um, a female doing it. So yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really, I really liked the the actress that did it. So that was really fun. And that was nice to watch. Had another spider attack. That was fun. It was really weird because like uh, he was in the bathroom, just coming upstairs just before just before coming in here. And, uh, we have one of those like uh, shower things that go on the tap you know little shower head that just hooks on there like a, like a, like a telephone um, and it was sat on the head of the shower perfectly it was just like it had his, it had his legs sprayed across the entire thing and his body at the, at the, at the tip I was like I had to do a double take because it was massive it took the whole space off and it made me jump but I was like I had to do a double cake, double takes. I thought it was like a Halloween decoration or something. It, it, it looked really weird. Like, yeah, it looked like it's like part of the part of the design. But yeah, that freaked me the fuck out. I'm really not doing too well. No, there's fucking massive things we live in anywhere. <sighs> Just for fun. Anyway. I'm tired. <whistles> Luna do love the boots there for you. Good girl. Go on then. to dig out my um, thick pyjamas. <laughs> um, I don't know what they are. I, I want to say the word sweatpants, but I oh know that's American. But that's what they are. Those grey sort of jogger things. I uh, really like these. They're uncomfortable. <sighs> my, my autism doesn't like them, but they're nice and thick and the winter has come, so I um, I need these. I'm sick of having cold um, legs. So, get some nice thick... Pajamas around me.
Anyway, not done too well this week, have I? Uh, my mental health has dropped off a cliff. Um, yeah. Thinking about my future and I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Title of the vlog. Every occasion, mum and dad give me like a hug or something when they watch the vlog and something depressing happens and they get upset. And uh, I should really stop talking about this sort of stuff on the vlog, but if I did that, I had to have nothing to talk about. So, um, yeah, uh, I should stop doing this, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to talk about something very depressing right now, so that's not going to be fun. You know when people say... Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in ten years? Those sort of questions. I don't have very good answers to those questions. No one asks, no one asks me them, but I, I, I ask myself them. And I've been doing that a lot over the past week. And, uh... It's not a very good sight. I, um... I fully believe one day in my life... I will be homeless at some point. Um, no idea when. Not Probably not the next five years, probably not the next ten years. But at some point, I will be homeless. Because I'm fully aware, I'm fully aware that it happens to people way more set up in their life than me. People who have had jobs for decades, you know, got a lot of savings... <clears throat> they have houses, they have a house, they have a family. It happens to them. You know, they make a couple of, they make a couple of mistakes, lose their family, lose their house, lose lose their job, lose money, and they end up on the street somewhere. And I think if it could happen to them, it's sure as shit gonna happen to me because I have much less going for me than that. I rely on my mum and dad a lot for doing a lot of stuff. And I think when eventually they pass on, hopefully not anytime soon, I will manage for a bit. I'll learn how to cook for myself. I'll learn how to run a house. I'll learn how to do all that kind of stuff. But then I fully believe one day the government will stop my aid somehow either through a mistake that I've made or they'll just get bored of taking care of people like me because let's face it they're the government they don't like people like me doing nothing and just taking taxes and when they stop that I will lose everything I don't have a positive spin on this this is just how I believe what I believe my future is going to be like. Maybe in my 40s or my 50s I will be homeless or something. And it's not a good thought to think on. That's what gets me so down like it, it, like it has this week, that thought. The only thing I can salvage from that thought is just enjoy my life now. Try and enjoy the... Um, things I take for granted now you know I can sit on my ass all day playing video games and have benefits and have a loving family that support me cook me meals and you know don't ask too many questions but I'm not very good at being grateful for that sort of thing I'm not very good at living in the moment I'm very in the future sort of guy you know I struggle to appreciate something here and now because I think well one day it will go so why should I appreciate it now you know that's just my own problem to deal with I need to get over that somehow so yeah don't have much of a positive spin on this this is just how I am at the moment um I'll be alright eventually you know, probably next week I'll be really happy. You know, my, my mental health does have a tendency to go up and down. So, we shall see. Sorry if you watching this and you care about me and I, um, I look a bit worrying at the moment. 
but I'll be fine. There's a noise outside, distracted, it distracted me. Um, so yeah, don't have much else to say. Other than I will be alright at some point. Maybe not in the next couple of decades, but that's for future Barry to worry about. I don't like that guy, so who cares? He can deal with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yes, yes.